should not have woken up from a nap and then decided to record a video. What is going on guys? Today we have a little bit of a different video on the channel. Um, I'm switching things up and quarantine has got me feeling crazy. <laughs> so um, today we're going to be opening up a full box of Pokemon X and Y evolutions. Pokemon cards as I destroy my microphone. Um, but yeah, so I've been watching a lot of Pokemon card opening videos recently. I don't know what's really gotten into me, but it's just for some reason super satisfying for me to watch and I have a good time doing it. So I decided I would pick up a box of kind of some newer Pokemon cards. These were kind of fun because they are a set that has a lot of older stuff that you can get and it seems like the nostalgia is there. So um, if you guys remember, it's been a really long time since I've done like anything really like this, like in terms of just opening a sealed booster box. Um, but on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash mewtube back in the day, I used to open up a lot of vintage um, booster boxes. And I cry a lot on the inside now because I probably spent like $1,000 in total on all those boxes. And um, now on eBay, just one of them sell sells for like over $10,000. So, I mean, I'm... I'm pretty dumb for that, but I mean, I still have all the Pokemon cards, I don't know. But moral of the story is I like opening booster boxes. I don't know if this video is going to do very well, but it's something that I've wanted to do. So we are going to bust into this bad boy. I don't have the best setup in terms of recording these types of videos, but let's open some Pokemon cards today and uh, see what we can get. I don't know how this is going to go, but I mean, I'm excited for it. So yeah. Also, I'm sorry. I, I just woke up from a nap and was like, let's open some, let's open some cards, baby. Actually, we could do a little bit better. Okay, now we got a little bit of razzle dazzle. We have uh, some of my old cards back there, the OG boys. Also, we have my PSA 10 first edition Dark Charizard. So this thing's pretty sweet. This is like my this is my best boy. I also have this in a nine. Um, if you're unfamiliar, PSA is just essentially just graded cards that make it worth a whole lot more money. So there's these things. We'll leave the 10. Oh, God, I almost just knocked the entire thing down. All right. Yeah, I'm sure this will probably fall down eventually. We've got we to gotta make sure these boys are... All right, that's fine. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. I am pretty excited. This is probably going to be a long video. Um, but I've got my sleeves over here in the background of this box is something that the Pokemon company sent me for Christmas and we're using it to prop stuff up. So let's just go ahead, crack the old seal on this bad boy. And I am really excited. Check these out. Nice. I think we can like, let yeah, me tuck that into the back. And we have got just a bunch of packs of cards. So we're just going to take these out. Um, We'll set that bad boy on top, even though you can't really see it, but let's check it out. Gonna probably need to mess around with the angles a little bit. We have 36 packs of Pokemon X and Y Evolutions, which feature our friends Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard in their mega forms, which is cool. The three pack artworks. I do have the original boys also here. We got the base set two Charizard, along with a base set Venusaur. And then a, blaze, a base hit Blastoise. I do think that you can actually pull the reprint of this card in this set. So hopefully, you know, with a little bit of luck, we can get that. I think that's prob that's got to be the best thing you can get in this, I would assume. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, crack these girls open. It's been it's been a while since I've opened Pokemon cards. We're probably just going to give it the old rip minute. Okay, wait, no, never mind. That'll work. All right, so... I don't know the trick in terms of figuring out where the rares are in this. So we're just going to kind of go for it. We have Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew. So these are a lot of the just original base sets. Uh, Magikarp. Ooh, Reverse Nido King. Not even bad. And then the rare is actually a Hollow Hitmonchan. So nice. Look at that. The holographic actually looks really good on these. I like it. I like it. So we have the code card. I'll just be giving out all the code cards for you guys. Um, but it looked like it was the fourth one from the back. Also, look at this executor. This is actually a secret. So this executor, hold on. We're going to set the Hitmonchan there for a second. This is actually a secret rare. If you look at the bottom right, it is 
I don't know if it's going to focus. It's 109 out of 108. So not a bad first pack. You'll love to see it. We're going to go ahead and stick this Hitmonchan in a sleeve. And we starting off with a hollow. Very nice. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and set these off to the side. And let's grab from this one. So we're going to try to just grab... We're going to set the rares to the back. Or at least try to do like the card trick with them. Why is these things impossible to open? Hello? Okay, that was more difficult than it should have been. So the fourth card from the back is going to be the rare or the holographic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. So here's the code. You guys can use those. One, two, three, and then that's the rare, I believe. So we got Voltorb, Charmander, Diglett. I always thought this card was weird because look at how furry Diglett is. Definitely don't picture Diglett being that furry, but Ghastly, Caterpie, this is definitely bringing back the nostalgia of seeing all the OG cards. We got the Diglett, Nidorino, De Evolution Spray, Brock's Grit, and the rare is going to be Arcanine. Fun fact, in the original base set, that Arcanine card is actually not even a rare, which is kind of funny. At least, I don't think it is. Could be totally wrong, but I don't think they made that Arcanine a rare card. I don't know. All right. Next pack. Starting off with the Charmander yet again. Um, we do have the code here. I don't know if there's something about those code cards where if it's green, it's something about it being a rare. I don't remember. There's something about like, ooh, look at a Pikachu. Very nice. These cards don't feel the same as the OG cards do. The card stock is not the same. Around with the chop. We got a reverse hollow lightning energy, which is kind of cool. Blastoise Spirit Link, Switch, Machoke, and then the rare is going to be a B drill. The boy be drilling your mom. Not bad, not bad. But yeah, I think in some of the newer sets, it's like if you get a white code card, you're guaranteed that you're going to get a rare from that pack, or a holographic rare. I don't know if it's the same for evolutions because it looks like we've seen. Same color code, actually. This, yeah. So this was the um, this was the code card from the first pack that did have the hollow. So I believe it is actually like that. So this is not going to be a holographic. We're going to go ahead and test that theory there. Put the fourth one to the front, to the back. Diglett Seal, Nidoran, Ponyta, Doduo. We do have a reverse hollow Gyarados, which is actually pretty sweet. Double colorless energy, Charizard Spirit Link, Kakuna. And then Doug Trio is the rare. So I do think that most of the original rares from the base set are rares in this, which is cool. But so since the code card apparently spoils the whole damn thing for us, maybe we don't do the thing where we put the fourth card to the back and we just open it as how it's supposed to go. We got ourselves an energy. Oh, there's something crazy in this one. Hold up. We have got some sparkly action going on star you tangela up oh, it's uh is that one of them break cards we got a rattata weedle and then it is a machamp break for the rare so that is the shiniest thing i've ever seen not too bad such to the side finishing off with a far-fetched revive so the, both both the times that we haven't done the card trick we have gotten hollow rares which is cool so we're just going to keep that going anyway Machamp break. I don't think this thing is too crazy rare, but overall, pretty neat. Oh, there's also Raichu. There's Raichu packs. I didn't even realize that. Definitely probably opened a few of those already. But... Alright. Raichu, bring us the luck. If I can get you open. Okay. So mostly what we're looking for is going to be... that. Oh, we spoiled it with the freaking code card already that'd be ghastly diglet rat the reverse full heal the rare is a dugong which i don't know if dugong was even a rare initially initially if you guys do play the trading card game online you can definitely take advantage of those code cards i never really got into playing the actual game actually playing the card game i always collected as a kid Never even learned how to play. 
All right, Growlithe, Machop, Nidoran, Ponyta, Drowsy, Vulpix. The rare is going to be a non hollow Mewtwo. So that's pretty cool. Nice little reprint. Love to see it. We're going to set you to the side because you're cool. Metapod. Also, hold up. Does Metapod not look like he, that's his nose? Apparently, he's supposed to be like angry and looking the other way. Like this is the front of his face. But I always looked at it as that was his nose. And I'm pretty sure this card is responsible for me looking at Metapod like that for my entire life. But yeah, okay, here's the code. So I probably just completely ruined Metapod, Metapod for you guys. Let me know if that's how you saw Metapod. I don't know. All right. Next pack, Blastoise. Bring us some luck, boys. I don't even know if the other starters are in this, actually. I've only seen people get Charizards from these Evolutions packs. Damn it, we got a green code. I don't know why they would do the code card thing like that. Tangela, Volt Picks, Fire Energy, Reverse B Drill, and then the rare is another Mewtwo. So, back to back non hollow Mewtwo rares. But that's fine. We love our boy Mewtwo. Also, I'm generating quite the pile here. Pulling from this side again. And I think what we want to do, I want to open it like this, right? Yeah. There's also something extremely satisfying about the sound that Pokemon cards make. I've been watching a lot of unboxing videos of Pokemon cards. Poliwag, Switch Trainer, A, and a Mega Venusaur EX. Look at this beauty right here. That is awesome. So yeah, I don't think there's exact reprints of the original, like, base set Venusaur. But instead... You get yourself one of these bad boys. So, this is the original. Pokemon cards be looking crazy. Back in my day, you just had a fat toad sitting there. This thing is looking all crazy now. Alright, we'll set that back up. The Mewtwo fell down, but it's fine. So, that is a beauty of a pull. It's definitely what you're looking for. And then it's actually kind of funny because if we take a look, the next card is a Venusaur Spirit Link. So, some type of mechanic for Spirit Links and all that nonsense. In the TCG, which is probably not even viable anymore. And we have a code card for you. Alright, what we're going to do is I'm just going to like shuffle these around a little bit. Just to make it... Because I'm I'm sh pretty sure it's like you're guaranteed like at least 12 hollows, I think, in a box. So, it's got to be mapped out somehow to where like when we pull straight from just the top... It's going to be like non holo non holo non holo and then we'll get something good. So maybe maybe we just stir the pot a little bit, bring us more bring us some more luck. We'll see how see how that theory worked. But oh, we had a sneak peek at the code. We have the Tangler, Vulpix, Fire Energy, Voltorb. Ooh, ooh, hold up, hold up. There's something in there. So maybe the code card thing was not correct as we do have a Starmie break. And that's actually not in the rare slots, so breaks are actually completely different than just like a rare. They're actually in the spot of the reverse. So that's pretty cool. And then the rare is going to be the Beedrill. And there's a coat. Very nice. I'm going to sleeve up this here Starmie. Straight up gold, boys. I like gold. Okay. Charizard pack. Bring us that base set Charizard. I do believe if you get that base set Charizard and you get it graded by PSA and it grades a 10, which is pretty difficult, it can be worth a good amount of money. We are able to actually just open that on the wrong side. Oops. Pikachu, Machop, Growlithe, Onyx, Nidoran, Reverse Drowsy, and a Doug Trio. I always like this Porygon card, though. All the OG artworks are amazing. All right. Continue pulling from this side as we have a Raichu pack up next. Let us see what we can get from you. Alright. Tangela, Rat, Weedle, Voltorb, Poliwag, Reverse Hollow Ninetales, and then the rare is a Dugong. So nothing too crazy there. Charizard Spirit Link. It's a sign we're going to get the Zard. Next pack. 
Okay, we're not spoiling it with the code. Totally fine. We have a Voltorb, Poliwag, Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal. Reverse Hollow is the Pokedex. Hey, and then a Hollow Magneton. Look at this baby. Super sparkly. Very cool. I like this card a lot. And uh, impeccable condition. Very nice. Sticky in a sleeve. If we could get some more of these reprint hollows, that's what we're going for. Okay. To finish things off, we do have Slowbro Spirit Link. Nice. So there's Mega Slowbros in here. Kakuna, Energy Retrieval, and the code. I would like to get the Mega Slowbro, which I don't think is one of the chase cards, but we love our boy Paul around here, so you already know we're going for it. Anyway, we have got still a great stack of packs here. I have been itching to open Pokemon cards for a real long time, and this is exactly what I needed right here. I mean, obviously, I would like to do the base set again. On that Mewtwo channel, that was like six years ago or something like that that I was uploading those videos of me opening those original packs or those original boxes. I bought that base set box for $400, and it now sells for an insane amount. Looking at his Raticate, <laughs> Raticate's the rare. Um, but yeah, so like I was talking about on that Mewtwo channel, I did not only, uh, like I only, I think I only have like three or four boxes that I uploaded videos of me breaking into, but I went through a phase when I was like, I don't even know how old I was at, the, at that time, but I was buying a lot of original basic, uh, original boxes. So I think I opened almost all of the vintage boxes. I know I opened jungle, fossil, uh, base set, base set two. I opened a lot. We got a star, you star me. I, I'm pretty sure I opened almost all of the boxes that Wizard of the Coast made, other than like Aquapolis and um, why can't I think of the other one? The freaking green one. But so yeah, I probably spent like fifteen hundred dollars total on all of the boxes that I opened at that time. And now, like you saw in the beginning of the video, you can literally sell. <laughs> just one of them for like $15,000. I got a lot of really cool cards out of them though, so I'm not even complaining. Venusaur Spirit Link and then Electrode is the rare. But so that's why like with this Dark Charizard, this was one. Yeah, I opened two base set or two. Why do I keep saying base? I opened two first edition uh, Team Rockets boxes, which I got for like $300 each, which now sell for a, at least a couple thousand. Um, but but it was great because I was able to get this grade as a 10, which I think that thing's worth around a thousand to 1500 at the moment as a PSA 10 so I have a lot of cards that I'm sitting on because I was addicted to buying vintage boxes like six or seven years ago all right anyways next pack what do we have here but thinking about how much money I could make if I just saved all those at this <sighs> would be it would be great anyways Charmander Pikachu seal and a Venusaur EX so this box is just chock full of the Venusaurs. Apparently, we got the uh, we got the Mega Venusaur EX, and then we have the regular Venusaur EX. So that's pretty nice. Beautiful card. We love our our Bulbasaur line here. So we'll take it. Stick you in a sleeve. Not bad. All right. Finish things up with a Charmeleon colorless and a Devolution spray. I'm surprised they even reprinted a lot of the trainers. I'm sure I'm sure they probably changed up how they work. A lot of them at least, but seems like they would be outdated for the current meta of whatever the TCG's been doing these days. Anyway, Weedle. The duo Star You. Onyx. Ooh, that's a energy I've literally never seen before. Fairy energy. Reverse is the Polyrath. Ooh, and what do we have here? It is a it's a fairy type, huh? It's a Clefairy. Nice. So we got the reprint, Hollow Clefairy, which obviously now has Fairy type, did not exist when this card first came out, but that is a beauty. Um, I think the original Clefairy from base set is one of the hardest cards to get graded as a Mint Gem Mint 10, just because it just has such a large Hollow pattern. Porygon, Devolution, and Nidorino, and the code. Moving right along here. Like I said, this is going to be definitely a real long video, but if you're like me, Watching people open Pokemon cards is, for some reason, real fun. 
And if you like this kind of stuff, leave a comment. Let me know if you would like to see more. Because if I can get any excuse to buy more boxes of Pokemon cards, I'll do it, boys. Ooh, we have got something good here. What do we think that is? It is... Ooh, the Charizard EX. That's got to be one of the better ones from this set. And that is two EXs in a row. Look at this bad boy right here. Nice. Combustion Blast. That is... Fancy looking card. It's not one of the full arts, I don't think. I mean, it's it's definitely a beautiful card. So I think that's just the regular Charizard EX, but that is amazing. So we're gonna stick you in a sleeve. You are gonna go in the pile of rares. At the end of the video, I will be going through all of the rares and or the, at least the hollows that we get. So if you skipped forward just to see that, that's totally fine and understandable because. I would be very interested to see that as well. All right. Let's see if we can keep it going. We got three. We got two really good cards in a row. Can this next pack hold up? Magikarp. Lightning Energy. Caterpie. Reverse Hollow is Chansey, which is a nice card. And then the rare is Eradicate. I don't know why they did, why they're doing me like that, making Eradicate a rare. But here's the code. So all that means now is that we're due for something good out of this Raichu pack. Let's get it. Also, I would love to open more of the vintage boxes, but the bad boys are way too expensive now, which is crazy. Like even if I would have kept like some of the sealed packs out of them, I would be able to sell them for more than like what I bought the boxes out boxes as in total, which is insane. Energy retrieval, and then we have a Mewtwo EX. Nice. So that is a that is a fancy looking card right there. Nice. These new EXs. I mean, I know that this set isn't new, but I mean, it's pretty much new to me because new to I've never opened really like any of the new sets other than the time when Pokemon sent me that box of stuff. But then we got the Flying Pikachu, which I believe yep, is actually a secret rare as well. It's 110 out of 108. I don't know how many secrets are in this set, but I do know this Flying Pikachu uh, is definitely one of them. I don't think it's super crazy to get or anything. But it's definitely a secret rare, so that's cool. Continuing. Moving right along here as I'm getting much more efficient <laughs> as we keep going. We got a Poliwag, Grass Energy, Rattata, Vulpix, Electabuzz. The reverse is Brock's Grit, and the rare is an Arcanine. So, second Arcanine. Getting some doubles. That is fine. My desk smells like Pokemon cards right now, and it's probably the best thing ever. It smells like my childhood. Wow, this one... This one opened up easy. Would you look at that? We got the Ghastly. When I looked at this card as a kid, I always wanted to. I always wondered what it said on the graffiti in the background. Something city, and then you can't even can't even tell. But Ghastly Magnemite. We see something shiny here. We got a seal. Charmander Diglett. Oh, that's just the reverse. Nope. Just kidding. There's something else there, and it's got a texture on it. Oh boy, what do we got behind this onyx? It is Pidgeot EX. This is one of the full arts. So it's not the Charizard that we were looking for, but hopefully you can see that this thing's got like super cool texture on it. it does not have the best centering in that this right side is way larger than the left, which is one of the criteria when it comes to grading cards. Like you can see it better on this, whereas the left side is much larger than the right. So this would not get like the Gem Mint 10, like this Charizard in the back does, just because the center is not perfect, but still, a beautiful card and I did not even know if there was textured cards in the set but look at that got ourselves a Pidgeot EX that's not a card I've ever even seen before so very cool Poly, Poly Whirl we got a trainer and then a Haunter nice you know what let's grab the very bottom pack just because we can and it's a Charizard so let's see what we can get out of this Zardy boy still looking for that uh, still looking for that base set Charizard reprint as this one's not going to have it because we saw the green code but we did get the pikachu then we got a star you onyx machop dugong is the rare trainer haunter another flying pikachu so another secret and then there's a code okay the last pack was a dud but it's fine also it's just like so satisfying just holding pokemon cards again i love it all right Starting things off 
with the Pikachu. Fun fact about this card is originally in some of the sets, I think it's the Shadowless Pikachu. Could be incorrect, but he has red cheeks. And if you have a red cheeks Pikachu, they're worth a lot more money than just the regular Pikachu card. So you should be going through your old Pokemon collection. And let me know if you've got anything crazy. Doug Trio has a rare here. Um, I know that I've definitely gone through my collection in recent years as I noticed that the prices of booster boxes have just skyrocketed. Pokemon cards are not a bad investment. If you kept one of your Charizards or any of like the old like base set through like any of the Wizards of the Coast set hollows, they are worth quite a bit. Wizards of the Coast was the original um, company that printed Pokemon cards until they kind of lost their contract with Pokemon, I guess, at some point after like six or seven sets. Ooh, we get a reverse hollow Mew here. Very cool. And then the rare is the Farfetch'd, which is a new one. I haven't had the Farfetch'd yet. Metapod Switch. Nice. So I'd love to see some new cards. We've definitely still got a nice stack of packs left to open, so hopefully we've still got some nice, uh, some nice gems in here for us. All right. We have got the Magikarp. We don't, this is always an interesting card because it has like a weird texture on the print. Crazy dots on it. Electabuzz, Drowsy, Staryu, Reverse Hollow Machamp, and oh boy, we've got something good as well. Machamp was always an awesome guy. I like the art on this one. And then Misty's Determination, which I have no idea about. And then actually the next card is Misty's Determination as well. Look at that. We got the full art version. Damn, Misty should be kind of thick though. Nice. All right. <laughs> Stick you in a sleeve. Beautiful. Hopefully that wasn't our last chance at a full art. I didn't think. I, I don't know if you're really guaranteed to get very many full arts in one booster box, but I think we might have one more in us. Who knows? All right, starting things off with the Charmander. Can we get the base set Zard? We need it. Rat, Caterpie, Magnemite. Voltorb, Magnemite, ooh, and there it is. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I spoke this one into existence. That is amazing. That is the card you are looking for. I Fun fact, I've never actually pulled one of these Charizards out of a pack. That is amazing. Nice. So it actually looks to be pretty well centered. And that is super cool. The holographic pattern on this bad boy is amazing. I'm going to stick you in a sleeve immediately. I think it's still pretty rare to get this card even out of a box of 36 of these packs. That is insane. Also, shout out to the Sinnoh <laughs> sleeves I got. But the Pokemon company sent me a box with a bunch of cards and they gave me the Sinnoh sleeves, which is awesome. But dude, we got it. I got the Zard. Take a look at this bad boy. We can actually put it right next to... I have the base set two Zard. I think I actually even have a base set regular Charizard in this stack to my right. Um, if you guys would like to, I look at the, the different print quality is interesting because this one's much lighter. I don't know if it picks up as well on the camera, but very cool. He now gets um, 200 damage with his fire spin rather than 100 and has 150 HP instead of 120. So very cool. Um, if you guys would like to see a video of me going through my collection of like my best hollows and stuff, I would definitely be interested in doing that, but let me know. Anyway, this thing is amazing. We're going to actually stick you in front of the old Charizard because you're the new boy. All right. So we have a couple left here. You all can grab the code from that one. But I don't know. I mean, we really don't even need the expectations are not even that crazy anymore. We don't need anything, any, anything else. I got what I wanted. That makes buying this whole box worth it. I do think that card can be worth a couple hundred dollars if it grades a 10 and you send it in. So that would definitely be worth checking out. I, we did notice that this is a green. So it's not going to be anything crazy. Another rare eradicate. So many rare eradicates. Why are you doing that to me? But yeah, like I was saying, I think a Gem Mint 10 uh, Evolutions Charizard reprint is definitely worth a couple hundred dollars. Whereas that makes it a good investment if the price of the booster box stays low. So. All right. I know that we can get doubles. Can we get two of the Charizards? All right, Zantru, Poliwag, Diglett, Seal, Nidoran, 
fighting energy, and the rare is a Starmie. Nothing crazy there. I do always always like this Poliwhirl card. Card. Got y'all a code. It's always, it's probably going to be like the first person that plays the trading card game is going to be able to get all of the codes. But, you know, early bird gets the worm, so that's fine. I don't know if even Evolutions cards are like worth it to use the codes for. But who knows? Anyway, let's keep on moving on here. We're getting close to the bottom of the pile, which is sad because that means I'm just going to have to buy some more potion. And who I saw the red for a second, just an Arcanine. Thought it was another Zard. So we're down to the last five packs. But we're definitely still due to get some more hollows out of this. We haven't gotten too many of just the regular reprint hollows. So hopefully there's at least one more of these. Growlithe, Nidoran, Vulpix, Reverse Voltorb, and another Starmie. So two in a row on the Starmies. Here comes Team Rocket. This is actually a card that is from the... Team Rocket set that I have opened um, two full boxes of before. So that was where I actually was able to get my... I got two Dark Dragonite first editions that I'm going to be sending in to get graded soon. Those things can be worth around $800, I believe, if they get the 10 So that's what I'm aiming for. Anyway, next pack. More Pikachus. Ooh, we got ourselves a Brock's Grit. To go along with our Misty's Determination. Nice, we got the full art... Barak's Grit, I don't know how good the trainer cards are in terms of comparing that to just like a Pokemon card. But the Barak's Grit, pretty cool. Look at my, my man Brock. Ready to whoop some ass. Nice. All right. Three packs left. Oh, hold on. We didn't finish this one off. We got a Magmar. Young Boober. We got a Surfing Pikachu, which is actually another secret rare. So the Surfing Chew and then another Misty's Determination. There's the code. All right, let me organize the old pile here. And let's get into it. Charizard, bring me some more luck. I would like a Charizard, or um, I wanted to say EX for a second, but I know those don't even exist. I would like another Mega Charizard thing, whatever those, those are. Maintenance, and we got a Blastoid EX. Oh, wait, it, it was EX. Why was I... Okay, I was confused about that for a second. But we got a Blastoise EX. Nice. So not the Zard that we wanted, but an EX nonetheless. We did get the Venusaur. Now the Blastoise. There could still be the Charizard EX sitting in there. I don't know how many EXs you're guaranteed to get, but I don't think it's many. So I'm sure we've probably gotten close to, like, the limit. But we got that regular reprint Charizard, which is better than that anyway, so that's fine. Last two packs. What can we get out of these? I don't know. It's so satisfying to open open up these packs. You know, I've probably said that a lot, but... <laughs> we got the reverse Charmander, and then we have another Hollow. I'm going to say Chansey. It is a Chansey. Nice. I was thinking about just like the normal. Chansey is probably one of the only normals in this set, but... A beautiful card. I always really like this. I just like the simplicity of this. I like when there's just the Pokemon and then just like a hollow pattern in the background. So in these new hollows, they actually have a lot more going on in terms of just shapes, which is pretty cool. But Chansey, looking pretty good, my little egg buddy. Nice. Stick you in a sleeve. Keep you safe. All right. We'll finish off this pack. And the very last pack, boys, can we get some last pack magic out of here? Considering we just pulled a hollow out of the last one, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I mean, I did shuffle them, but if we could get anything out of this, that would be great. Last pack magic, baby, starting us off with a Pikachu. That's good luck. Staryu, Onix, Weedle, Machop, double colorless energy, and an Electrode. So nothing out of the last pack, but... That was really fun. I <laughs> had a great time with that. I wasn't expecting to actually be able to get the reprint Zard. But take a look at this beautiful fiery bastard. Love to see it. We're going to actually bust you out too. Just enjoy that. <laughs> so that is pretty amazing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to be... The end of this video, let me know if you'd like to see more card openings in the future, because I would like to do it. Also, if you guys want to maybe see 
Um, kind of just like my collection of my best Pokemon cards. That would be also fun to show. I know I have a couple of I a couple of them kind of stacked up here as just the, the Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. I have a regular base set Charizard somewhere. I just pulled this one out the first. So, I don't know. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Charizard says farewell, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. All right, just kidding. We're not going anywhere. I just realized I completely forgot to do the recap of our rares that we ended up with. So this is our lot of beautiful boys. We're going to go ahead and just do a quick recap. So we got that hollow Chansey. Blastoise EX looking amazing. The Surfing Pikachu is in here for whatever reason. I set the secret rares there too. We have the Brock's Grit looking nice. We have the Misty's Determination. Texture cards are really cool. We got the Pidgeot EX. So these are the full arts. We also have another flying Pikachu in there. Oops. Look at that Pidgeot. We have the Mewtwo EX, which is super cool card. Charizard EX to go with our base set Charizard. Clefairy. It's so weird seeing this card as it pink because I'm always so used to it being the normal type in the base set. So then we got Venusaur EX, looking nice. Mega Venusaur EX, pretty funny we pulled those back to back. Holographic Magneton. We've got the Starmie Break, along with the Machamp Break. Then we've got the Hitmonchan, and then of course we've got that base set, Reprint Zard. So, that is overall a pretty good haul, if you ask me. Anyways, now, for real this time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.